Yo, what is up YouTube? Rain back again with another video. And we are going to do our Legends Stage Pick'ems. Now, in the last video, I reviewed all the stickers, um, looked at the Pick'ems for the uh, Challengers uh, stage. So now, we're gonna go into the legend stage so as you can see i got my silver coin i made it um is there a way to look yep so honestly it was quite close uh pain didn't go three and oh but this was kind of a throwaway because the chances of you going three and oh um you know i didn't want to put g2 there because if they did happen to lose one game that would have been a waste um you know so i secured them down here along with phase and uh yeah mouse they did horribly if anybody put mouse on zero three they would be up right now um they did horribly they didn't win any games uh they got kicked out very early into the competition uh forza they made it quite far and luckily they didn't make it um through they lost in their last game they had two two um it was a close game though nip uh, they played quite well. I'm quite happy with their performance. G2, very nice. Phase, pretty good. Kind of shaky, uh, but they did quite well. Um, they lost one <coughs> out of four games. So their final score was 3-1. Um, Ents, they just powered through like it was nothing, along with G2. G2 and Ents just made it look easy, like they didn't belong there. Liquid? Brother. I've been at work for the last couple of days during these uh, majors, so every time I go on break, you know, I'm, I'm watching the video, I'm watching the uh, live stream, and I'm, I'm on OnlyPixels Twitch, watching along, and Liquid had me on the edge of the sea. How did they lose the first two? Bear in mind, it was best of one, so, you know, they didn't really have a, t a time to, uh, you know, get their head in the game and come back, but after those two losses, they said, guys, kick it in fourth gear, powered through and they played amazing they played really well they didn't lose any games after that uh even though it was best of threes it was two zero two zero two zero straight through and they made it into the legend stage now coming on to the legend stage you have all the all the good players like this right here it's going to be hard to pick from these guys um honestly Right, so I've been doing some research. I've been out of the scene for a, a, quite a while, but I know that Fnatic would have been like an easy pick along here, but I haven't really seen a lot of people put Fnatic in. So uh, I'm going to have to have a look at the lineup and then see who we go here. So all right, let's have a look. So first game, we have Na'Vi versus GL, best of one. Um, I, do f I do feel confident in Na'Vi. Um, they are OG team. They have simple... And I believe they have entered the top four. Um, they got to the quarterfinals in quarterfinals and semifinals in the last seven majors. So they are a solid team. They got one of the best players, Simple. So definitely could put uh, Navi through. Um, Liquid versus Nine. This is honestly a coin flip. After Liquid's performance at the beginning, especially in the best of ones, it was not looking good. Um, but I do think that they have powered up. They got their head in the game. Uh, Elige was pay playing phenomenally in the last game. Um, you know, so and and he really wants this major. He's never lifted a trophy. He's been playing CS professionally for like last ten years. Uh, he really wants this. So. I do think Liquid would play good, but I'm going to have to have a look at their nine uh, lineup in a second. Um, Furia versus Monty. I'm not too sure here. Uh, I have seen Monty play. They are quite good, but they do not have a coach. Um, so that can hinder them, especially in the Legend stage where you're playing a lot. The players are a lot better. Um, not having a coach to take you through and like keep your head in the game once one person tilts and you know the in-game leaders trying to you know like keep everybody under control it's going to be very tough um but yeah so fanatic visit nip honestly probably another coin flip here i'm not too sure where this can go uh fanatic are the ogs but i'm not too sure like if they're still one of the best teams um in the uh 
in the series right now. And I'm not sure. NIP did play well, but they weren't playing. They weren't powering through as Ents and G2 were. Um, yeah, so Heroic versus Phase. This is another coin flip. I've seen a lot of people talk uh, highly of Heroic. Um, very good players. So, uh, yeah, I'm not too sure. But Phase were playing good. So this is another coin flip as well. Into the Breach versus Apex. Now, I've heard a lot of people talk a lot of trash about Into the Breach. Saying that they're a UK team. They should have made it into the Major. Very bad team. But, honestly, if they made it to the Legend stage, I believe in them. I, I think they can probably make it through. If they've made it into the Legend stage, um, they can probably do some work. I will be surprised. Because, honestly, after the Champion stage... You saw uh, Mouse go 0-3, and three, not winning a single game, getting eliminated straight away. Um, yeah, so, like, look at this. Lost to NIP, lost to OG, and went 0-2 and two to Game of Legion. They didn't win any games. They played terribly, and a lot of people had high hopes for this, for this uh, team. So, honestly... I'm not too sure what to think. Um, so, yeah, anybody can do anything at this point. Uh, Vitality versus G2. I'm going to have to root for G2 here. Um, and then <laughs> B&E versus Ents. I'm going to have to go Ents here. Ents were playing very strong. Uh, I'm sure they can make it through. So, yeah, let's go back onto CS. And then let's just lock these in. So, I'm going to go Na'Vi. I'm going to go with who I'm most confident with, uh, G2, actually let's put G2 first, I'm very confident with G2, then Na'Vi, um, then I'm going to go Heroic, Vitality, they got Zai Wu, very good player, um, top three players in the world I believe, um, I'm going to put Ents here, Phase here, and then honestly, my last pick is open to anybody. It could be anybody's game. Um, I'm going to put, I could put Liquid here, but they had me on the ed edge of my seat, man. I don't know if they can make it through. Um, honestly, it could be anybody. It could be anybody. I'm going to go off a whim. And uh, I'm going to believe in Into the Breach. I'm going to believe in them. No, I'm not. I'm putting them 0-3. <laughs> uh, uh, guys from the UK. Now, you know what? I, I, I got to go with it. I got to go with it. Uh, and then 0-3. I'm going to put someone like Gamer Legion here. Um, even though they did play well to make it through. I did, I did think they struggled towards the uh, end. I did think Game Elysian did struggle towards the uh, throughout the whole thing. They lost towards Complexity. Which Complexity was probably one of the worst teams in this whole competition. Uh, but that was only the first game. Um, game Elysian did lose again to Mongols. Which did end up getting uh, kicked out of the competition as well. Um, they did win against Mouse, which was intense. Um, it was very nice. They struggled against OG. It had to go to the third game. And they did very well against Fours. Honestly, I was surprised in this game. Uh, Fours just didn't play well. Game Legion absolutely stomped them. Um, but they were struggling the whole time. So that's my reason for putting Game Legion in the 0 and 3 section. Because once they come along, these bigger teams. So, if we look here, Game of Legion are going to be playing against Na'Vi, which is honestly a no-brainer. Na'Vi should stomp them easily, so they'll be going down here. Um, probably playing against another solid team like NIP or um, Vitality. You know, they'll be down here. In my opinion, I think G2 will be Vitality. They'll, they'll struggle against them. And down here is going to be very sh uh, rough for them in the best of three. Um, against another solid team that really wants it. GL has proved that they really want it. But in my opinion, I just don't think they can pull through. And then my 3-0. Honestly, a very OG team like Fnatic. Uh, they should be able to do really well. 
uh, if we look at who they're going to play first, it's going to be NIP. I do think that Fnatic could be NIP. NIP was struggling in the last um, in the last stage where they won against Mouse, but they lost against Ents, and then they won against OG, but then they and then they won against Greyhound. So honestly, they they doing pretty well, but I don't know if they can um, keep their momentum up. So yeah, I'm gonna have to put. Fanatic here. Hopefully they do really well. But yeah, these are my picks. Hopefully I didn't waffle on for too long and I made sense of why I made these picks. Hopefully you can get a bit of insight from this. If you do want to swap anybody out, I would say swap out into the breach for Liquid, Monty, uh, NIP. They, they, honestly, these are all solid teams. Um, it could be anybody actually. You know what? Last minute suggestion. Last minute switch, sorry. I'm putting nine here. There we go. Locked in. Locked in. Back like a booty oil. I, 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 had, I had a feeling. Into the breach ain't going to do it for me. I had a feeling. There's my there's my picks. Thank you guys for watching. You have 23 hours. You'll probably have about 23 hours as soon as this video gets out. I'm going to try to get this video out as soon as possible. If you guys want to try and get the diamond coin and follow along, watch loads of different YouTube videos, get some information in understand what team has been performing what team is slacking and yeah guys please like comment subscribe and thank you guys for watching in a bit peace